Let me get down underneath here. In the other videos you saw, I had a C-clip on the bottom of this piece right here. Lesson learned, don't ever use C-clips on anything. <laughs> so I drilled a hole through this, and I have a pin through it now. Which should hold up a lot better and stay in place. Then another couple of things I did. I noticed on this, when you push it all the way back, since I raised the seat up, this was actually hitting back here. So I just basically moved, I had a little bit of room to move this whole thing forward about an inch. So that's what I did there. The piece that I had made on here had a little bit too much slope to it. So I trimmed it down and tilted it back where it would lay back better and make the steering wheel just a little straighter up where it wasn't so much in my lap. And then another thing was that I almost lost the wheels and didn't realize it. Another C-clip issue. On my previous video of the steering, you saw me make all this stuff and I put it on here. And I just put a couple little C-clips in a groove that's in this axle shaft right here. So, did the same thing on it. I drilled a hole through the, uh, the axle and put a great big pin through it. If I have to, I'll put a quarter inch bolt with a lock nut on it. But I had to do that on both sides. So yeah, lesson learned, I'm not going to use C-clips on anything anymore, so did this one over here the same way. That's where I'm at at this point. Doesn't really look like I've done a lot of work, but I really have. Um, I got the sides of the fenders made. I got the bumper built. That's the bumper piece with the two light cutouts. I framed up all around where the radiator is going to be, or the grill is going to be. I uh, got the windshield piece made, and I have a bunch of fillers smeared on it right now, as you can see. And I made the grill. This is the grill piece that's going to go in there. This is a whole bunch of chrome rods that were uh, stems for pendant lights that we didn't use at work that would hang down from the ceiling with these rods. You had three that came with each one so you had different heights you could put them at and we didn't use we didn't use any of them on the lights we were putting in so I had a whole bunch of these and I just got a piece of perforated metal that are that already had well it already had holes drilled in it like every three quarters of an inch to an inch apart and I threaded the little pieces in the end of it and stuck it through the hole and put a tack weld on each one of them to, to weld it in there and then it will well let me take it over here and insert it in place I'll have a black backing behind it and I'm probably going to mount a couple of little lights inside of it just to finish it off. But I'm going to start doing some sanding on this body filler. I just got the front end done. That's all I've got it on here. So I'm going to start sanding it and smoothing it out and seeing what it's going to look like. Then I'll try to get a coat of primer on it. Got a little bit of caulking to do on it and some stuff like that. Well, I've gotten, gotten to this stage of the project and I'm going to do a little bit of a step backwards uh, because I've got it where I can start putting some paint on it and some of the things I need to do I can't do until I get paint on it. 
So I'm going to take all these doors back off of it. Uh, take the exhaust pipe back off, the exhaust pipes back off of it. I'll probably go ahead and pull the motor, the gas tank. Um, I'll get the filling done. Uh, do a lot of the sanding. I'll probably wait till a pretty day when I can pull it outside and do some sanding. But getting to that point. Well, after doing the first batch of filling and then sanding inside of the shop like an idiot, uh, I decided this time the smart thing would be to push it outside and sand it. So that's what I did. So I just got done sanding all of it, got the filler on everything. Finally, gonna start putting some primer on here. So just gonna do a quick walk around. Show you how it is before I put the primer on there. It's kind of hard to do a walk around in here because the shop is such a wreck right now. <laughs> so if I trip and fall, y'all just laugh and keep going. Yep. I spared you all the sanding. Didn't video any of that. Thought that would be useless. So, I'm going to start putting some primer on there. It's fixed to start drastically changing. It'll be white first, and then it'll be yellow. But let's get to putting some primer on there. Yes, I'm rolling on the primer. Please don't give a bunch of hate comments. I would rather be spraying it on. But... This is faster and not as messy, and I think it will do a pretty good coat. I may end up putting, I may end up rolling one color layer on and then maybe doing some fine sanding and spraying the top coat on. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. But I'm just glad to be this stage right here of putting some primer on. And can't wait to start getting color on it. But I'm going to continue on with this. Well, it's finally yellow. I did go ahead and uh, 
roll this coat on the first coat I thought I'd get a good thick coat on there first and uh, then I'm probably gonna lightly sand this and then get a top coat sprayed on there see down the sides I can't get far enough back to give you a real good view but so even started painting some of the inside got the seat got the dash area the inside of the windshield all painted I think it's gonna look good I think it's looking good it's coming along see the back I decided to go with yellow inside of the engine bay also just to make it kind of bright I started taking the engine stuff apart and we'll paint the main part of the engine of course black and then some of the like the top panel here and some of the little side panels may paint them yellow there's the bumper I gotta get another good thick coat of black on it then see it from this side I think the interior looks really good. I'm probably going to do either a dark gray or black trim and accent pieces on the inside. Oh, yep. And then painted the exhaust stacks with a semi gloss. They still look pretty glossy. But I think the semi gloss will kind of tone down after it probably still wet not dried good of course I still have the door panels and all the other panels that I still have to prime and paint do some more work to them I'm glad to finally see some color on it I think it's really looking good y'all might not like the yellow I really like the yellow and I think with the black accent pieces all over it it's gonna look really good